how's it going Jean Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about TikTok and what kind of content you should be creating for TikTok now I'm not a million followers I don't have I don't have a million likes or you know I'm still kind of new on TikTok I'm around 765 I think it is but I have learned a lot about different strategies that will create views and it will add followers and that will you'll get things going on TikTok and I'm going to talk about that in just a sec at least what I've done what I've learned what you can do as well uh, and you can adapt that to your content to your niche really it's your niche that you care about your audience your your avatar who it is that you're trying to reach and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so TikTok, what is... Well, if you don't know what TikTok is, it's an app that on your phone that lets you do videos. It lets you do videos with uh, lip syncing and lets you do videos... Lots of people do videos with dancing and it's a lot of younger people on there but today I mean when I look through I all I see is people above 30 40 50 right so it really depends on who you uh you're following and what your uh, target market is and what your content is whatever you do is going to affect uh who you see because TikTok is a platform that will present you uh things that have to do with what you provide what you create whatever your content is that's what you'll see right it also has to do with who you follow who what you like uh in your post like there's a there's the activity of liking commenting sharing whatever actions you take just like any other social media platform it will show you stuff based on your actions right so if you're constantly liking um videos that have to do with hiking or nature or 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 you know um uh, scenery or or maybe animals and things like that then you're going to see more of that in your feed as you scroll through your feed so let me just show you uh the my phone here uh or actually my let's share my screen where's this there it is so uh oh I've got that zoomed in let me zoom that out a bit here let's just zoom that out a bit there we go I had that zoomed in I forgot to unzoom it I guess I should say All right, so over here let's move my whoops let's move my webcam to the bottom as well because that's really I should have done that earlier obviously there we go okay so let's, oh, there we go let's move that down here make it a bit smaller so we don't take up the whole screen all right so now when we look at this is my uh, TikTok account if you go to tiktok.com and Jean Serge Gagnon you're going to find that I have 795 766 followers right and the last few videos this is a this is a private video you see the little uh, the little um lock right there that means it's a private video I mean it's not private in the sense that it's okay you see it here but it's not I it was a test so that's why it's, I didn't I didn't share that's why there's zero views the rest here are videos I did yesterday as you can see I'm not getting millions of views 213 here 170 there but look at these ones 10 10 4 7 2 so yesterday I actually did a trial and I took my my video I took my episode from the from last week and I split it up into a minute long pieces it was a 34 and a half uh, minute video so it ended up being 35 pieces right so what I did and I'm not recommending you do that necessarily because as you can see it's not huge hugely successful but what I don't know because it takes a while to see what happens but see how I have part one part two part three part four part five and I basically did just a part uh throughout the day uh, every half hour or so for well not the whole not overnight so that's why it took two days but you know uh, I did one part every half hour every hour until I was done so now I have 35 parts 
so the idea with that was that if somebody wants to see longer content they're actually interested normally they wouldn't be on TikTok. they would go to YouTube they would go to Facebook right so the idea here is that this was just a test and that's I'm not saying that's the kind of content you got to create because when I look through my my videos here when I go go back right and I look through and I don't know if I, how far I'll be able to go online here because it used to be that you couldn't go very far <clears throat> but I have one that's got 2,000 views on it and well let's let's back up a little bit first of all uh what kind of content should you be creating on TikTok the first thing you have to ask yourself is who is your audience right who are you trying to reach right are you trying to reach um young entrepreneurs are you trying to reach uh, middle-aged men that have kids for example are you trying to reach people who want to lose weight are you trying to reach people like what is your niche right it's not no different than any other social media platform so first you got to figure out who you're trying to reach and what are they interested in there's obviously you can create these these crazy videos that attract views that attract comments that attract likes just like any other platform where you basically where you ask for engagement where you ask them to answer a question or you ask them to comment because the the action of commenting on your video increases the views because the platform will show it to more people if there's more engagement right that's just the rules of social media so that's one example of something right so I mean when you're doing your videos on TikTok you got to think about what is interested in your audience and you don't want to be going all over the place doing all sorts of different things I mean me in the beginning I was just playing around trying different things I was doing these trend things I was doing these duets uh fun things <coughs> you know here's the video I'm talking about that did 2,000 views it's got 2,600 views now and why does it have so many views this is another trick that you can have you can um, learn about on TikTok <coughs> on TikTok your video views this is something I'm not really sure about but I'm I'm guessing it's the same as other platforms the number of views is how many times three well actually let's can I see the um, analytics here if not we'll go on the uh on the phone uh it doesn't look like it there's 10 10 likes no comments on this right and then so I did basically this video where, where I'm like gonna poke this this milk right and the thing is that this the it's a sound that sounds like things are going to happen and you're not sure so you're you basically watch it you keep watching it until you realize that this is just a loop and that's one of the secrets on TikTok to get a, a video that's really viral is show something where people wonder what's going to happen and they stay and watch the whole thing right so you want to show that's why you see lots of videos where they say wait till the end right they want you to watch till the end and at the very end they got this crazy thing that happens or something that you you know wouldn't guess right and that's that makes you watch it again especially if at the end the part that you see is very short so you might want to watch it again to see what what's going on so that makes it a loop right so that's one of the things you want to do <laughs> on TikTok is make loops uh that'll get you more views right um the other thing is as you can see these these initial videos see this at 489 some of these videos and that's because I was kind of trying different things I was playing with the platform but since then right since then I really have focused more because the other thing is when I look at these right if I look at this basically I have a few um hashtags that's the other thing the hashtags you use in your videos are not about uh, searchability they're about platform organizing the content in front of people who are interested in those things so if you do content that's about online courses like I do at least my end goal is getting people who are interested in online online courses right then I put online courses in most of my videos that lets the platform know that my videos are meant for people who have expressed interest who have liked a lot of videos or watched a lot of videos that have online courses as a hashtag that's why I use the hashtag attraction marketer earn from home entrepreneur I use those hashtags that have to do with online business without being an entrepreneur documenting the journey and so and the thing is that as as I grow and as I get as the platform sees that I have more people interested in that stuff right as as it's basically what I you know post about then they eventually get to a point where 
my my growth is going to be uh around that that hashtag that information that that piece that 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 niche right that's the thing you got to be careful because I could be doing a whole bunch of dancing videos or videos where I lip sync because I did do a few lip sync videos well anyways they're down there and the thing is that what you do as content on TikTok is going to be what your audience is interested in if you do stuff that is all about dancing and whatever then that's great if that's what your target market is interested in right and at the same time TikTok well there's a flip side of this right the flip side is that with TikTok is a dancing and lip syncing kind of platform it doesn't mean that it's lip syncing the songs necessarily because there's lots of lip syncing to like these these the, these the monologues if you will people lip sync to some actor saying a scene and friends for example right they lip sync to that and it sounds like they're the ones saying the things because they're lip syncing to it and it's kind of fun right and it's actually a lot of work to do that because you get to repeat it and redo it so let me show you how we do that let's let's show you how we do that okay so we have I have my phone here right so if I go into TikTok right there I just go into TikTok and then I this is again my my the same exact thing that we're seeing on the screen there right it's the same uh the same videos but let's say I want to create a lip syncing video right I probably hmm, let's see now how would I find something okay so when you're in your let's say I'm going into my timeline right here up top you're going to see there's a following right there and a for you so the following is whoever you're following already right it's going to show you videos from people that you're already following and it basically just lets you you know okay I like this right I like this you I mean me in my case I like everything just because I like to show the platform I'm active I want activity and I want people to I want people to uh, uh I want people to or the, the platform I should say I want the platform to see that I'm active so that they potentially present my stuff now I don't know if that works as well on on uh, TikTok or not but anyways that's one of the things I do and then the other thing is over here the for you right the for you platform is the for you platform is uh the not the for you platform the for you page right here is new videos new possibly new people that you haven't seen yet where you can just say like and follow by tapping the little plus underneath the name or, or underneath their profile if you want to follow them right and that basically anyway so that's one thing so links here's an well that's not a good example so yeah so and let's see if I can if I search for music let's say I search for um I don't really know I should probably have maybe did some research before doing this episode here but uh, let's say I'm uh have you ever had a dream have you ever had a dream there's a there's a there's a like when you're going through the timeline you're going to see people doing things that are uh, different um sounds right so if I look at sounds uh and I just look at say I don't even know my sound up that's not it why that's not it I'm looking for the one that is just a kid a little kid saying the sound it's not playing I want to hear it I maybe I can find it in my own if I go into my own videos I know I have I done well actually let's do the other one let's do the one where Chris Rock and uh, not Chris Rock uh what's his name um uh, let's see his name is uh Kevin Hart I think so there's a vi there's a sound where he there this one here 
no you're not going to hear this this here let's just let's just do my webcam here I'm on TikTok now oh shoot I'm on TikTok now why what well I'm doing a TikTok honey so this has to be how you do TikTok like this I'm on TikTok now all right so that's an example I'm going to pause it here you just tap the pause let's just go back to the webcam to show you the screen so this this is a sound let's say you're scrolling through your news feed your feed right you're following or you're for you and you see a video like this and you're like oh I'm going to try to do a lip I want to do a lip sync to this how do you do that how do you do a lip sync to a video like this I'm going to do that right now I'm going to do a new lip sync of this so basically what you do is first of all you're going to see down the bottom there let me just uh, move this a little bit more you can see down the bottom here where it says what sound this is if I keep playing it I'm going to turn the sound off on my phone but so you keep playing it you can see the sound down here right it's showing you the sound that's part of that video of this video so what you do is you just tap on here or here and it'll pop up the video right this video it says it's an I'm Kevin Hart it's an original sound from I Kevin Hart and these videos here are all the videos of people who have used the sound and then there's more sound you can see see more there's going to be a ton of people that have used this sound and they have lip sync to it right so what you do it doesn't really matter I can go look at any of these and then this person they go no oh, shoot she's saying the exact same thing as Kevin Hart right so <laughs> now this is him this is the original one right here I'm on TikTok now. <laughs> Why? uh let's just take the screen off here because the, so this is the original sound I'm just going to show it to you though on the webcam because uh, the sound is off if I don't TikTok, honey. so this has to be how you do TikTok Not like this. I'm on TikTok now oh shoot I'm on TikTok now <laughs> so anyways that's basically what you do that's the how you find the sound that you want to do and you want to record it so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back you, you just tap the the back up top here right just go back and now it's in the sound and I can add to favorites by adding to favorites it allows you to find it faster I'll show you favorites in a second but then down the bottom you see this 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 red use this sound here I'm just going to tap that and that takes me to my the my the recorder with that sound up above right you can see up here the sound is actually in is actually being is shown that it's going to be that sound so when you when I press the record button at the bottom there the big red dot it'll start recording but it won't pick up any sounds I can make any kind of sounds I can talk and do other things it won't pick that up and I'll show you what I mean so if I just do this I tap it like this oh uh, shoot I'm on TikTok now so now what we oh, what I just did shoot. I'm gonna pause I'm it here now. oh I can't pause Why? it it'll just keep playing so let me just show you let me just show you the, the screen I'm on TikTok now oh shoot I'm on TikTok now why what well I'm doing a TikTok honey so this has to be how you do TikTok like this. I'm on TikTok now <laughs> okay so first I'm on TikTok now let's just uh hold on let's go back to the well, the screen here I want to show you something okay so I can tap the back the I'm back button now. I, let's turn the volume down okay so I can tap the back button right here if I want to or try again because the idea is that you're going to try this and try this and try this and until you're satisfied because obviously you want to have the right facial expressions with the words you want to sound you want it to look like it's you saying those words right that's the whole point of lip syncing so I'm just going to click on back right here and you can see at the top here it shows a big uh, blue line which shows that I recorded the whole thing I'm just going to tap the x down the bottom here that will allow me to delete that so I'm just going to tap that 
then it's asking me do I want to delete the last clip I say yes now it's blank and by the way you can do it multiple uh you can do it multiple pieces like and do this like this let's just turn the volume on because otherwise I won't hear okay so oh shoot so now I just did the ah uh, shoot right and I can do another one like this I'm on TikTok okay so I did the I'm on TikTok now as you can see up top there's two little bars with a little white in the middle there's two blue bars and then I'm going to just do the next part where I'm going the... so then I just did the Y I don't know if I did that right but I'm on TikTok now okay so they did it again so now I can't show you okay let's turn the webcam back on here so here it is here this is the part so you're going to see I'm on TikTok now oh shoot I'm on TikTok now why well I'm doing a TikTok honey so this has to be how you do TikTok I'm on TikTok now I actually like this oh, one. This I I think I did good, I'm don't on you think? Now. Why? Well, well, I'm doing a TikTok, honey. So this has to be how you do TikTok. I'm on TikTok now. I'm on TikTok. Yeah. Are you on TikTok? Oh shoot. I'm on TikTok now. I'm on TikTok. How about you try Why? to do this sound? You do this sound. Well, you TikTok, go on TikTok honey. and find so my video and just use that sound just like I showed I'm you in this episode. Now. So that's how you do a sound oh, lip sync on TikTok. on TikTok. Okay, so after I've done the video, let's go back to the webcam. So after I've done the video, it'll it just keeps playing and playing. I can just say I'm gonna add some tag and I can say Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. I'm on TikTok. I'm going to just put the sound on here or not sound but text and so the way it works is just by text you can choose color of the text right and then you can also make it uh, fully uh, fully uh, not transparent or you tap it again and it becomes transparent and I'm going to put that up here so the thing is when you're doing if I, I want this to be my cover so I want to make sure that it shows up in the videos like see when you look at these videos they have text on them and and they and that's something new because I didn't know that before they all have text on them because I chose a cover picture of that with this text on it so I I don't want to put it up here the very top or very down the bottom a couple of reasons is as you can see when I'm mousing down my name shows up right it also you can also see where the your profile picture is the little heart thing is the little comment thing is the share thing is if I move my text over here it's kind of showing me that that's going to be underneath those things so you want to make sure that your text is here but now it's on top of my face I'm going to go up here I want to put it right there so that it's not hidden now the other thing I can do is I can make that text disappear I just tap it set duration and then I go here and I just make it show up just the first second right there so now it's going to be at the very beginning and then this disappears as you see it's gone right it was just showing up at the very beginning so now I'm going to say try this lip sync and comment Now I'm going to put that like this I'm going to put it oops done I'm going to move it down the bottom here I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to actually put it right next to the comments right there okay and I'm going to make it disappear near the end I'm going to say and then I'm going to add some more text I said how did I do all right so I'm going to go like this I'm going to make this a blue I'm going to put that right next to the comment again right here 
and I don't want this to show up at the same time as the other one so I'm set duration we'll make it show up here put it there so now it's going to this it's going to show only when uh, when there's nothing else right so there so now I have the start right and now it says how did I do probably move this down a bit okay and then this one here move it down a bit too okay so there so now it's ready the next then you I can I can practice there's a voiceover you can do you can do adjustments oh that's new I didn't that's that was that's been there for a while for other people but I hadn't had it so I can actually go in here adjust eclipse uh, this this here right here adjust eclipse you can add filters you're going to add effects down here right you can add text of which I did stickers sounds and all that so there we're just going to tap the next the big blue red next button down there just tap next and now I need to put some text on there I'm going to say had to do this to do this again like and comment when you try it when you try it <clears throat> and then okay so I'm just put post that there that's going to be at the bottom of the video right when when people look at it it's going to be down the bottom and that's going to be um the part where hopefully that kind of incites somebody or maybe you watching this that you're going to go to my TikTok and going to go try it you're going to like the video and you're going to comment that you tried it so that I can go and look at your rendition of it right I I love to see that stuff so uh I'm just going to go here and add hashtags I actually do I have it doesn't say here Kevin let's use I am Kevin I am Kevin I am Kevin Hart there it is and then I'm going to put a I'm putting that there I don't know how well that's going to help but anyways um lip sync which obviously there's billions of them we'll see but then I got to put my hashtags right I got my personal brand I got my ask Jean Serge I got my entrepreneur click e-course and online courses now there's probably not enough room for the rest let's see other ones I use TikTok ABC oh I did have enough okay and that's probably it though um, I got there's other ones but as you can see there's morning boost colors pet story family things which I could use but it's not this is not really a family thing but maybe it is let's put that oh, there's not enough room on this okay so I'm just going to do that that's good so that's the post I'm going to post it like the, oh by the way this is where you select the cover you just one thing that it took me a while to realize is that I was like okay I'm going to select I want to select the cover I would tap the picture and there's nothing there's no way to do anything right there's nothing here right and I was like well how does this work you actually have to tap where the text is where it says select cover when you tap that down the bottom you get the ability to choose your cover I always try well not always but lots of times I try to just put this little text at the beginning and I just let it save at the beginning of the, the video right so I don't bother changing it but now that's how you select the cover so that's it I'm just going to post this and we're going to see how this video good does and as you can see up top there it's showing me that it's uploading right here it's showing me how much of it is uploaded once it's finished uploading it'll give me the option to share to other platforms which I could do but I usually don't do that but if I go back to my me down the bottom now I have this new video right here which is the video it's there it's on my timeline now and <laughs> there you go so that's one of the so this is a fun video to do a lip syncing is a fun video but if you remember you got to put your hashtags for your niche and your video has to you know it's a fun thing it's it doesn't mean that it doesn't have anything to do with your niche but by putting the proper hashtags on your video as well it helps to make it be a video that is seen by your by the people who are interested in that and then then, then maybe they're going to be because you know how it is online but personal branding is all about getting people to know like and trust you for them to know you and for them to like you they have to they have to you know they have to see you in your as you right you do things that are fun that you like to do 
and that's how you get people to know like and trust you because they're going to be seeing you they're going to be like oh maybe, <laughs> maybe I should start following this guy because he's kind of cool he did this cool video and you know I like that somebody else is going to be like oh what an idiot I don't like that so they don't follow you and that's fine I don't care because I want the people that like me to follow me the people that don't like me it doesn't matter I don't want to be mean or anything but the point is that it doesn't matter if they don't like me because they're not my art than my target market same thing with you people that like you are going to follow you people that don't like you they won't follow you don't get upset if somebody says you're an idiot you look like an idiot that's okay it doesn't it's not a big deal you you can choose to not react to that just unfriend them block them whatever just don't worry about it and move on because there's lots of people out there that will like you focus on them all right so hopefully this helped you to figure out a little bit how to do content on TikTok and an example of one particular thing and I hope that you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.